Husky's back here with more Vancouver Canucks GM mode franchise mode commentary. Uh, last video we kicked off season six. Um, really good start. Uh, we're fired on all cylinders. I'm still missing that big name to play on that first line with Stone and Duchesne. Um, I thought Barzell would be that guy. He hasn't been. Um, and we have some really poor performances from that second line. Um, so, uh, I've spent the last uh, two hours or so trying to look at trades and get figure something out to do here. Um, nobody wants to trade. I have tried every team. I have tried every big name player. The only trade I have made that works is um, acquiring Brandon Saad from Columbus. That is the only deal that I have had any success with. Now, I know what you see me put on the board. Oops, this is the wrong team. Um, actually, I'll go back to what I had it as. This is a deal I know that works. I have a few different deals that work with um, with Columbus. This is one I know that works. Um, I know you probably aren't going to be thrilled to see Trampkin up there, but I cannot get this deal done simply with Verana or Jakob and like I was doing Jakob and Huberdo in two firsts. I was doubling trade value for every single team and nobody would make a deal. It's ridiculous. Um, the first guy I went to was Godolbin in San Jose. Nothing. I could not do a damn thing to get him. Um, so sadly this is, um, and Spies is only a 77, but that's because his morale's trash. He's actually an 82. So swapping him out for Trampkin isn't that bad. He can play third pair with, uh, Subban. Um, but this trade should work, basically. Um, I'll show you my lines after the trade's done. But there we go. Uh, we'll go to roster moves. Um... Like I said, this deal's a little tough. He makes a lot of money, too. But, um, I had to trade a defenseman. Defenseman was where I had the trade value necessary to make a big move. And I don't totally kill my lines. This is not the lines I'm going to go with, and I should not have best lined it because I killed my special teams. Fuck. Oh, well, but I'm going to go with Saad, Duchesne, Huber. Oh, no, I'm not. The stone on that first line. Get up there. Um... I'm going to leave Rask as a second line center. I'm going to leave Domi on the third line. Put Barzell on the second line. So Barzell, Rask, Huberdeau. We'll see if that works. Um, I'm actually going to change Rask to a two-way forward. And I'm going to change Barzell to a sniper. Um, this third line is going to be the same as what it was. Lucas, Domi, and Hurdle. And this fourth line is going to stay the same being um, Roussel, Helm, and Lad. Because I think Lad's done alright on that fourth line. He's not happy about where he's playing. He's got 10 points. And Lucas is... He's got 21 points on the third line. This third line is doing well. For the most part. I have a lot of defensive scoring, so that kind of skews these stats. But I bring Brandon Sod in. He's got 31 points in 39 games. So, I mean, he's... He scores goals. He goes to the net. Um, I can use him as a penalty killer. But these are the forward lines I'm going to roll for the rest of the season. Um, I feel like these are my best options. That was the only trade. Like I said, I tried everybody. Panarin, Godolbin, Goudreau, McKinnon, Sagan. Um... Who else? I just... You name a good name. Forsberg. Um, I know he's not a sniper, but I don't think I need a sniper on this first line. I think the two-way forward that Saad is will fit well with these two. Because these two score. Then that's fine. I just need somebody else to be out there with them. Barzell wasn't really able to do that. So by putting him on the second line with Rask and Huberdeau... Which, I'm, I might drop Huberdo to the third, move Domi up. I'm not sure yet. 
because this third line pretty much works no matter where Domi goes. Um, yeah, but defensively, like I said, the speed is an 82. That's not bad. Um, I could even put Hamannick down here and bring Spiza up this way. I have a good offset of good and bad. I love that I brought Spiza back to Vancouver. I'm pretty sure he started here, didn't he? Alright, so special teams. Saad, Duchesne, Barzell. Um, I want Stone on that first line. Yulevi, Provorov, Subban, Morrissey, Barzell, Ras, Huberdo. I'm actually going to go Domi. I think Domi's a better fit for the power play. That's fine for the two pair, four pair, four, four man power play. Helm and Lucas. Um, I don't want Lucas on the penalty kill. He is not a very good defensive guy. I should have put Sod on the penalty kill. Roussel and Rass, that's fine, because Rass wins face-offs. Hebenek, Ulevi, Spiza, Provorov. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Penalty kill, Helm, and... No, not Lucas. I don't know why it defaults to Lucas. Um, yeah, it should be Rask. Uh, extras. Sod and Barzell, no. Actually... Mm, he doesn't have good face offs always. No, oh, but he's, he's so fast. He was he'd love four and four. Maybe I do this. I don't put Sod on the four and four, but I do. Um, what's hurdle skating? Not the greatest. What's Rask skating? Um, we're gonna actually. No, I'll yeah, we'll go Rask. Rask Stone and four and four continued. I'm actually gonna put uh, Darren Helm out here. Cause he's just, he's fast as fuck. So Darren Helm, yeah he's still pretty quick. Darren Helm and Max Domi will be out here. And like I said, if you weren't a fan of this trade, I, I tried everything. I spent, like I said, nearly two hours trying to figure something out. And I just, I just, I couldn't. Um, age all stays the same. Just still kind of hoping these two guys... I think Benson is topped out. I don't think he's going to get any better. But yeah, there we go. There is our... There is hopefully our big trade that'll... Maybe kickstart the offense a bit. I just have to edit some player roles. Um, and as for the playoffs... I might stream the playoffs on Friday... As long as I make the playoffs. I'm expecting to make the playoffs. Um, I think I would stream the playoffs on Friday. Um, sometime early afternoon. So that everyone can join in. Um, and then the off season, I would probably stream... Uh, I don't know if I'd stream Saturday. The family party to go to. Um, I'd probably stream that Sunday. But we'll see. I could do it Saturday at an early enough time if I'm awake. Who else I wanted to change? Barzell, right? He's up here. Change Barzell to a sniper. Oh, one downside to coming back to school is walking all day, and I am now sick because of it. Well, not sick, but my sinuses do not like the rapid change in weather. Uh, I think those are the only changes I had to make, right? Barzell and... Yeah, that was it. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get back into the sim. See if this uh, completely kills our momentum. Like I said, we're, we're two points behind St. Louis for the uh, President's Trophy. But we lead the Pacific. Let me just make sure my arena doesn't fall apart. That'd be a stupid way to get fired because you Kept your arena in disarray. Okay, I'm gonna have to maintain all that later. All right, let's go. I'm also tweaking the um, my the offset of the sound on the game to my mic because I noticed watching back some of the videos. 
uh, you can hear me clicking the controller and talking about something before it happens on the screen. So I'm trying to find a balance for that. All right, let's go. Let's see. All right, wait, we won our first game. Won our first two. Um, I don't have any draft picks for the next three seasons, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this Vancouver Canucks mode. Um, I did seven years in Minnesota. This is year six, and I haven't had the greatest luck in terms of like free agency and draft picks working out. So I might do an extra season if we're a solid playoff run team. Um, because I think the description says five to seven seasons. And I'd like to keep it to seven, but at the same time, I'm okay with doing eight if we're, like, if our playoff run is... I don't feel like this team is not going to make the playoffs. So I guess I'll just gauge. I've also been doing this for almost two months. Uh, yeah, almost two months now. I think I started this when I went home. Lucas Spies has been injured with a sore hip February 6th. Um, I have Victor Barley. He can go in, that's fine. 31, 12, and 4. 8 to 1 win over the Bruins. And going back to the trades, it was so hard to find somebody because nobody, like none of these teams, are rebuilding. Like, they don't, they don't have the rebuild team focus. And it is impossible to trade with anybody that has a playoff shot. Because they don't want to give anything away. Like I said, I tried everybody. Um, and it was just... It was the most frustrating experience I've ever had in this game. Like, I know... Some of the guys I understand... Like, I was trying to get... Um, I tried to get Eichel from Buffalo, because he doesn't have full trade value, so I figured, eh, you know, maybe I can, a little cheeky, maybe I can grab Eichel. Um, I almost tripled their trade value, and they still said no, and look at their record. They still said no. Tripled the trade value. I think it was Tramkin, Huberto, and three first round picks, and they still said no. Oh, Victor Bartley. I gotta get a better defenseman to sub in here. So 89, 90, and 89. Barzell's up to 88. Alright, so I think we're doing alright. And Barzell still has a couple years to grow, so maybe he'll bump up another. Maybe he'll progress on, like, fucking Nolan Patrick. I'm still a little salty about the fact that Patrick didn't work out. Really needed him too. Alright, upgrade. Or repair. I don't have the funds for all this. Shit. I don't have the funds for any of it. Where'd my money go? Advertising. Fuck off advertising. And promotions. I don't get why we're struggling to make money. Like, this, we're one of the best teams in the game. Whatever. I'm sure I could dive deep into that and look at, like, ticket prices and prices of a hot dog, but. Alright, I'm gonna look at stats come the deadline. I wanna see who's, who's doing what for us. I'm not gonna make any moves. I think our, our team's set. I don't know. I also don't have any money after that Sod deal. Since Sod makes seven point three million dollars, I think he's the second highest paid guy on our team now, behind Duchesne, who makes eight. Man, Barzell's a happy camper. Hamp happy camper. Nope, oh, Lucas is happy. Nice. Oh, two nothing lost to the Ducks. Back-to-back -back shutouts against rebuilding teams. Two of the four rebuilding teams. All right, that's not... We just got shut out three games in a row. What the fuck? 
Did we forget how to score? Hey, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, you should lose morale for individual performance. I bet you didn't. You didn't score for three games. Then we come back and shut up. I don't. I don't understand this team, man. Lose three to one to St. Louis. Lose four to one to the Hawks. Sorry, we're just having a little bit of a rough time. Every every team goes through this. We'll turn it up in March and really take over this take over this league. All right, so we've uh, we've struggled considerably here the past couple of weeks. It's all right. No, I'm not concerned. All right, so now we're second in the division. Mark Stone still almost a point per game. Brandon Sada has 20 goals. Barzell's really rocking out that second line now. Huberdeau's gotten going. Ulevi's got 16 goals. Uh, Rask, Rask and Huberdeau are just setting up Barzell, and that's what it's supposed to Let me look at their plus minus. Plus, five, plus 15, plus 9, plus 12. Like these. Suban's a minus 4. Spies is a minus two. Hamannik's a plus fourteen. So I mean, Subban almost has ten goals. <coughs> so I think we're we're scoring goals now. I mean, I'd like Sad to have a few more points, but I mean, shit, he's got forty eight. He's got twenty goals. Granted, he had fifteen when he got here, so maybe that's not the best. Still, Barzell's. Really picked it up. He had 12 goals when we stopped. Goalies. Demko's. Hey, his stats are good. I mean, yeah, I think we're doing alright. Like I said, the the, the, um, the defensive scoring skews the offensive stats. Because if I look at defensemen, we have 29 points, 16 goals for Ulevi, 9 goals for Subban. Like, the, the defensive scoring offsets what's missing from the forwards. Um, I don't have any bad plus minuses, though, do I? Like, that fourth line, I might have to get Lad off of there. Hurdles, even. Domi's a plus one. Lucas is a plus eight. I feel like Lucas takes advantage of those four and four situations that hurdle isn't on. Uh, the fourth line isn't bad aside from lad. I think I just need to get rid of lad. Sorry, let's uh. I want to see Nolan Patrick. Sprung's at thirty-seven, so he's having a good year. Nolan Patrick still struggling. I'm okay with that. And for the NHL leaders, McDavid, Johansson, Carlson, damn. Little Stone, nice. Shafley, Tuck. Right, so, probably half the names on this list I tried to get that were reasonable. Like, I obviously couldn't trade for somebody with full trade value. I really wanted a good Olbin. He's already got 30 goals, but he just, they would not budge on him. I think they're going to do what Colorado's doing with McKinnon and just build around him. Uh, how long am I at? 20 minutes. Uh, we'll finish the season. I need to figure out what to do with Lad, though. I think I'm just going to scratch him. I need to get rid of... Bartley. I don't care if either of them get claimed because neither of them will. It aligns. Quinville's not going to be happy to be a scratch up here, but. Yeah, this, this line does not have good defense. Right? That's ah, not the worst. I mean, Lucas' defense isn't the greatest, but it's going up. Um, I gotta get Lad out of here, though. 
do I dress Kruger? Yeah, I dress Kruger. I know the helm's um, got face up, but it's only one higher. I think Kruger helps that line more. 89, 89, 89. So Duchesne dropped from a 90. Is this morale down? No? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> He's got 42 assists. Uh, shit. Ah, sure, we'll start you. You're unhappy, so... Ah, fuck it, best lines. Just do it this way. There we go. Kinda lost interest in keeping my AHL team. Like, just keep an eye on them, because, well, I don't have a use for them anymore. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how we finish. Like I said, we're four points behind Calgary for our division now. We've had a real rough stretch the past couple of weeks. We just need to... Just get a good little run going here. Good little run going and we'll be right back to where we need to be. There we go, there's three in a row. That's what I want to see. Ideally, I would like to have 330 goal scorers, because that's the thing we can have. Um, but I'll take two. I think we've only had, I think Stone's still the only 30 goal scorer we've had the whole sim on the Vancouver roster, that is. April 10th? April 10th? Shit. That's gonna hurt, because he is a big part of this team. I guess on the plus side, I have an offensive defenseman that can take his spot, but do I want to put him on the first pair? I kind of have to. Actually, I'm going to swap him with Subban. There we go. And Quinbo can take Ulevi's other spots because he's got the offense to do it. Right, so now our scoring is up, but our defense has gotten worse. I, I don't I don't know what to do with this team anymore, man. I just I just don't know. Are we gonna be a fifty game winner for the first time? Oh but back to back losses, we're not. Come on, beat Boston, thank you. Beat the Rangers. The the four rebuild teams are Arizona, Boston, New York, as in the Rangers, and uh San Jose. Come on. Let's say Minnesota had 50 wins. God damn. So we need to win four of our last five to hit 50 point, 50 wins. And we lose to the Rangers, a rebuilding team. Oh, well, at least I've got him back, but he's not ready to come back yet. We'll see when he's ready. Because he's the last guy I want to get hurt going into a playoff run. All right, cool. He's healthy. I don't know if we win our last two games. We can win 50. Oh, well, we're leading the division again. All right, let's get him in there. Barzell's still an 88. Quinville's up to an, 82, or an 82. Nice. I wish his defense was better because I would use him. a door open. Hopefully I'm not distracting people. Ah, God damn it. Only downside to uh, recording this in the dorm room is we do have quiet hours. It is a little late. But I forgot to record this earlier since I had class. And I want to get this up tomorrow morning. Alright, I want to win 50 games so we're going to do a we're going to do a real sim here. About 24 minutes? Yeah, we're doing a real sim. Alright, LA's a good team, playoff team. Gotta get off to a good start against them. Alright, I shot him. It's a good start. Alright, there we go. Brandon Saad. Ooh, they got Denny the villain in that. Ooh, Alex Martinez ties it. 28 shots. 
Alright, we're, we're fighting back here. We're gonna go to overtime? Man, goalies playing really well this game. Demko and Benny. Venelin, Ven, Venvelin. Alright, overtime. Let's see if we can. I mean, we're gonna. Oh, Drew Doughty wins it. Damn, no 50 win season for us this year. It's alright, so I'm not gonna do a real sim. Um, yeah, we'll do a real sim for the last game of the year. Is there anything I'm playing for? So we've clinched the division. I think we clinched one one in the West. Ah, oh, no, St. Louis got us. So we're playing for... If we win, we can get the two seed in the West. Damn, Carolina's got 107 points. Alright. So I'm just going to sim it, because I'm not playing for anything. Alright, let's see if we win. Oh, we lost. Damn. Calendar. I'm assuming we lost. Our points didn't move, so. Oh, we lost 4-3. to three. So who do we get in the playoffs? The fucking Calgary Flames. I don't want to play Calgary. God damn, dude. Their top six is disgusting. Not going to play the Kings or the Ducks if we win. When we win. How much time I got? We can look at our end of the year stats. So Stone wasn't a point per game player, but let's see if he hit 30 goals. Ooh, we hit 27. Barzell ended up outscoring Brandon Todd. Maybe Barzell makes his jump to the first line next year. Or even for the playoff run, because, I mean, he had 31 goals. That's pretty good. I almost feel like he would be a good fit on that first line now, and I could drop Saad to the second line. And that Saad, Rask, Huberto line would be probably pretty good. Domi was a minus. That third line is struggling, though. Who did I call up? Quinville had 7 points in 12 games. God damn. It might be someone to keep around. Subban and Andy Levy both ended with 10+. plus. Hellman ended with 11. Huberto had a good... Yeah, so I mean, I think we're good. I think we're good going in. Um, I like our odds this playoff run. Uh, let's see how our HL team did. Yeah, just... I mean, Quinville, he had 44 and 56. Tyler Benson had 19 goals. Nobody else really impressive. I mean, his Baumgartner kid's doing good, but... I don't think I have any goalies left. I have this Jacobs kid. Damn, I was kind of hoping I'd have more than one 30 goal scorer, but... Our goal scoring is definitely there. Carlson and McDavid share the R. Ross. It's a pretty low scoring year. Uh, and one last thing I want to check is the Islanders. Nope, that's the Rangers. Strong into with 48 points. Is that his best output yet? Yeah, it is. Nice, good for him. Nice to see he's doing something. And Nolan Patrick's still struggling. Although I think that's because he's got to change him to a sniper and he doesn't. He's just not a sniper. His shot isn't good enough to be a sniper. And who did I trade the other one to? Columbus. Uh, Jakob at 37. So again, he's still struggling. I think he had more points. Yeah, 63, 57. So he really fell off. And then... Tramkin. He's a plus 17. He had 6 points. That's yeah, so I mean. That's... Hmm. 
I'll take that trade off, but I'm going to call it there. Uh, I'm going to look to stream the playoffs tomorrow, so keep an eye out for it. It'll be early afternoon. Uh, I get out of class at noon my time, which is central time. So I'd probably do it around 1 or 2 o'clock central time, which I think is 8 o'clock uh, finish time. But yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'll, I'll make another event to remind everybody. Um, as always, comment what you thought of the uh, sod trade. I know it's not what everybody wanted, but I, like I said, I tried for two to three hours to get something, and that was the best I could get. And who knows, maybe it opens up Barzell. He got going at least. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Playoff run should be fun.